isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 26 Describes and illustrate different angles, right, acute, and obtuse using models. Objective. After going through this lesson, the learners are expected to describe and illustrate different angles, right, acute, and obtuse using models. This is a ray. A ray is a part of a line that has one end point and goes on infinitely in only one direction. You cannot measure the length of a ray. We can name a ray by using the name of the two points. So we will start to name the ray by its end point, which is A, and then the side which we can extend it infinitely, which is B. So we use this symbol to represent a ray so we can read it as ray AB. Now, can we name a ray as ray BA? The answer is no because B is not the endpoint of the given ray. So let's have another example. Again, we can name the ray using the two points. We will start to name the ray by its end point, which is D, and then the side, which we can extend it infinitely, which is C. So we have ray DC. Can we name this ray as ray CD? The answer is no, because point C is not the end point of the given ray. Look at ray BC and ray BE. They have the same end point. The figure formed is called an angle. An angle is formed by two rays with a common end point and do not form a line. The rays are called the sides of the angle. We can say that ray BC and ray BE meet at point B. The common end point is called the vertex. So point B is the vertex. We can name an angle in three ways. We can name it as angle CBE. We use this symbol to represent an angle. We can also name it as angle EBC. We just have to make sure that the vertex is always on the middle. Or we can simply name the angle by its vertex, which is angle B. The angles are classified according to its degree of measurements. We have angle LMN. Take note that we measure angle using a protractor. To measure angles, we use the unit called degrees. This is the symbol or this is the typographical symbol that is used among other things to represent the degree of arc. To measure angles, place the middle of your protractor to the vertex of the angle. Then, align your protractor to the two sides or rays of the angle. From 0, we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So our angles measure 40 degrees. Since the angle measures 40 degrees and it is less than 90 degrees, we can say that angle LMN is an acute angle. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees or it measures between 1 to 89 degrees. 
Next, we have angle PQR. To measure the angle, we have to place the middle of the protractor to the vertex, which is point Q. Then, align your protractor to the two sides of the angle. From 0, we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So our angle measures exactly 90 degrees. We can say that angle PQR is a right angle. A right angle measures exactly 90 degrees and it forms a square corners. Now we have angle WXY. To measure the angle, we have to place the middle of the protractor to the vertex which is point X. Then, align your protractor to the two sides or two rays of the angle. So, from 0, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 130. The angle measures 130 degrees. It is greater than 90 but less than 180. So, we can say that angle WXY is an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180. Its measurement is between 91 degrees to 179 degrees. Lastly, we have an angle B. And if we measure it using a protractor, place the middle of the protractor to the vertex which is point B, then align your protractor to the two sides or two rays of the angle. From 0 up to 180. So the angle measures 180 degrees. We can say that angle B is a straight angle. A straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. To check your mastery, tell whether each kind of angle is right, acute, or obtuse. I have here a clock. The short hand of the clock is pointing to number 3, and the longer hand is pointing to 12. What time does the hand of the clock represent? Correct! The clock represents 3 o'clock. Now, let's measure the angle. So, I will place a protractor on the hands of the clock and I will give you 5 seconds to determine the degrees of measurement of the given angle. Your timer starts now. Time's up! The angle measures exactly 90 degrees and we can call it as a right angle. Perfect! Let's have another one. I have a clock. The short hand of the clock is pointing to number 2 and the longer hand is pointing to 7. What time does the hands of the clock represent? Correct! The clock represents 2.35. Now, let's measure the angle. I will place a protractor on the hands of the clock and I will give you 5 seconds to determine the degrees of measurement of the given angle. Your timer starts now. Time's up! The angle measures 150 degrees. It is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees and we call it as an obtuse angle. Last one. We have the short hand is pointing to 12 and the longer hand is pointing at 10. What time does it represent? Correct. The clock represents 12.50. Now, let's measure the angle. I will place the protractor in the hand of the clock and all you need to do is to determine the degrees of measurement. Your timer starts now. Time's up! The angle measures 60 degrees. 
it is less than 90 degrees and we can call it as an acute angle very good now get a pen and paper ruler and your protractor this time we will draw the different types of angle for number one angle mar is an acute angle that measures 45 degrees step one using a ruler draw a ray step two place your protractor to the end point of the ray and measure the given angle so the given angle is 45 degrees step three using a ruler draw the second ray with the same end point of the first ray to form an angle and for step four write the name of the angle which is angle m a r where a is the vertex for number two angle g a r we will now have a right angle so to draw a right angle step one using a ruler draw a ray step two place your protractor to the end point of the ray and measure the given angle so a right angle measures exactly 90 degrees and then using a ruler draw the second ray with the same end point of the first ray to form an angle and for the last step write the name of the angle which is angle g a r where a is the vertex and for number three we have angle y e s it is an obtuse angle that measures 100 degrees step one using a ruler draw a ray and then place your protractor to the end point of the ray and measures the given angle so the given angle is exactly 100 degrees for step three using a ruler draw the second ray with the same end point of the first ray to form an angle and for step four write the name of the angle which is angle y e s where e is the vertex that's all for today if you learn from this video don't forget to enroll for my channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos once again this is your teacher joy saying ang mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin bye bye and have a great day